Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Jeff Colbert, Schoolies Mountain Chiropractic Center. A real common question I get is, when I was a father raising my four kids, what were some of the stories that we would read to our kids because we insisted on making our kids voracious readers? And one of the stories that we would read to them is the lovables. And this is about the lovables in the kingdom of self-esteem. And to me, self-esteem is so critically important to children. It's said statistically that kids by the age of five, 80% of them have really, really great self-esteem. And the question I have is why do kids at five, 80% of them have a great self-esteem? Because I've noticed with my children and my grandchildren that from the moment they were born, as long as we gave them love and affection and took care of their needs, all they did was grow in self-esteem. But what happens to the kids between birth and five, and then the saddest statistic is what happens to the kid from five to 18 years old? Because it's reported then that it's not 80% of the kids have a great self-esteem. It is now only 20% of the kids that are graduating high school have a great self-esteem. And the problem with having a, a lower self-esteem and not a great self-esteem is that you tend to want to change your state. And what kids start to do is changing their state by reaching out to things to help them alter their state of being. As opposed to having love and kindness and growth and support, they turn to things like their peers. And sometimes peers are not always the best influence. They can turn to food and become food addicts because food satisfies their need for feeling better. They can turn to drugs and they can turn to alcohol, they can turn to sex, and they can get into all sorts of troubles by looking for something that is going to fulfill and raise their self-esteem other than the love that they should have been getting right from the get-go. So The Kingdom of Self-Esteem and the Lovables is a book that is just based on a Every letter of the alphabet has something associated that helps to raise a child's self-esteem. It is also based on beautiful, brilliant colors, and it's related with animals. So you'll see that there's monkeys in here. You'll see that not only are there monkeys, but there's owls, and there's lions, and there's deer, and there's doves, and there's peacocks, and there's zebras, and there's kangaroos, and horses. You know, all the typical animals that kids love to be associated with. This would be a book that I would highly recommend, The Lovables in the Kingdom of Self-Esteem. I would think every loving parent and grandparent should have this in their libraries so that when they are putting their kids to bed at night or they're putting their grandchildren to the bed at night, they're going to start taking this book and reading them certain aspects of the book. And only if you did a page or two each and every night and then had a simple discussion with your children or your grandchildren. So I just picked a page at random, and this has the buffalo and the beaver, okay? And so I take care of my body. Howdy, I'm Bernie Buffalo. I love my body and eat only the best. I make sure that I get plenty of rest. I treat my body with love every day, and you'll go galloping on your way. I take care of the world around me. Hello, I am Buddy Beaver. I take care of rivers, skies, and land. For all of nature is so grand. To your world, you too can give loving care so the earth may live. So when you're putting out these messages, these I am messages to your children at a very early age, you can start to teach them critical lessons on why it's important for them to take care of their body and why it's important to take care of the environment around them, thereby guiding them to be fully functional, happy individuals as they grow up and enter adulthood and pass those habits on to their children and grandchildren. And then we have generations of happy, lovable people in the kingdom of self-esteem. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Jeff Colbert from Schoolies Mountain Chiropractic Center. I hope you found this book and the information that I shared on building self-esteem in your children helpful and useful and that you would hit the like and subscribe button as well as share. And if you have any interest in chiropractic, because Schoolies Mountain Chiropractic Center we like to think is your leader in alternative health care, so it's not always about the adjustment, but it is altering your state of mind, your state of being, and elevating your self-esteem to other levels. You can always visit our website, Schoolies Mountain Chiropractic Center, smcc4u.com. Visit the patient section, sending us an email, give us a phone call. There's never a charge for a consultation. We'd love to see you in the office. But most importantly, we'd love you to be able to share the kingdom of self-esteem, the lovables, with your children and your grandchildren. This is Dr. Jeff Colbert from Schoolies Mountain Chiropractic Center signing off, wishing you a great and a happy day.